Over the course of your career, has your husband ever made a stock purchase or sale based on information you received from you? No. Absolutely not. Okay. No, absolutely not. This press conference is over. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi insisting that her husband never bought stocks based on insider information. The denial comes days after Paul Pelosi made a controversial purchase of a computer chip stock ahead of a congressional vote on semiconductor manufacturing. Here to react is Strive Asset Management founder Vivek Ramaswamy. Vivek, thanks for being here. Is this how Washington works, especially if you're Nancy Pelosi and you control the levers of what gets voted on and line items? Hey, I'm going to do this over here and I'll whisper to Paul over here and he makes a deal. So, so look, Pete, I think if we're being you know, frank about this, do I actually believe that her husband has traded on material non-public information illegally? If I had to bet, I would say no, just because the downside of doing so would be so bad for them that it would be so catastrophically short-sighted for them to do such a thing. However, this is a sliding scale where there are all kinds of informational advantages in a market that often involve like hedge funds, in many cases, legally gaining informational yeah. advantages that don't rise to the level of material non-public information. That's a sliding scale. And the question is, do we want our policymakers, our lawmakers, the people in charge to be benefiting from that? Or do we even want the appearance of them benefiting from that? Because that erodes public trust in the system. My view is that we don't. And I've had this debate authentically with e many folks on Capitol Hill, Republicans, Democrats, as, as to whether or not why it is that people in Congress and their spouses need to be able to freely trade stocks. Many of them say that it would be a disincentive to get good people to run for Congress. But the good news is there's a solution to this, Pete. I don't understand why no one's pursued this yet, which is I just think that every one of those people in Congress and the Senate, et cetera, should have their portfolios public in real time such that the public can know that if they do have some kind of informational advantage, mm. even if it's a legal one, the public can replicate those strategies if they want. I think that would settle this issue once and for all, but I don't think many people in Congress are going to like that. So transparency, you too can trade like Nancy and Paul Pelosi if they make that available. By the way, she deny yeah. she owns any stocks but of course if family members own it uh, they both do well by that so you're saying transparency ultimately is better than a ban on buying stocks in Congress well, I personally, if I was ever in, in, in a position of elected office, I certainly wouldn't want to be in the position of trading stocks or having a spouse who was actively trading stocks. I think it makes no sense. However, even to those people in Congress who complain that that would disincentivize good people into government, which is an argument that resonates with me, we don't have enough good people who run. I don't want to create good disincentives for that. One thing you could do is to say you and your spouse, anyone in the household, have the trades available in real time, not on some delayed basis, not on some quarterly filing basis. And the good news is we have a regime in this country where people who are officers of public companies, they also sometimes transact in the stock of their own companies. What's required of them? Real-time disclosure of those trades. I think it could be the same for public officials as well. Disclosure. You mentioned, uh, you know, good people running for office. Maybe that'll be you someday, Vivek. I would love to see it. Thank you, brother. Well, I'll leave you, it right there. I'm not making any it. declarations on your behalf. I'm just saying you do a darn good job. We love having you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.